the story of it, I think, is very relevant these days. I think we're living in a very fast-paced, modern, you know, world and society. And I think, as parents that are both working, um, we're always struggling with the balance of it all. Um, and I think um, it was a topic that we constantly talked about, you know, about making sure that we weren't, you know, on our phones a lot and there wasn't a lot of TV on and, you know, that we would really be those types of people that, Live you by know, example. Yeah. And our kids are very much outside kids. They love to play. But, um, but it is a struggle and we're not perfect and we're not here to preach or anything, but it was just a very honest sort of story that um, came about literally with him playing outside with our son. I was in cooking dinner and I saw him pushing him on the swing and his head was down, which is what happens when we're on our phone a lot. You know, one arm to push. <laughs> and I, I literally just yelled out, you're missing it. And he knew exactly what I was talking about. And apparently he said a light bulb went off in his head. It did. Immediately, I went to our, I have a home studio. I went in there and I sketched out the idea, but a rough kind of entire book yeah. and um, brought it back to my wife. We always bounce ideas off each other and she's very, very honest with me if she likes something or if it's something she does not like. Oh, come on. You don't want anybody to lie to you, especially your wife. True. And uh, <laughs> it, was, it was really cool. It, it all kind of came, came to together, fruition yeah. very quickly quickly yeah um, because it comes from like I said it comes from kind of an honest place of you know I think we all can relate to this story it's like the Brady Bunch show look at the window mm -hmm. yep. how'd you come up with the Brian Asteris idea we're both in actors and um, you know we don't go to an office we don't I mean except when we're working on set or something so we're on our phone when our agent or representation or anybody needs to get a hold of us the rub is, is that our daughter, who's eight, almost nine, every time now I get an email or a text, and I have to read it because it is work, she's like, Dad, get off your phone, please. <laughs> and the difference is moderation, right? There are things as adults that we have to check, we have to be on top of. And I try to explain to Harper, we both do, that it's like, you know, we're, we're with you 99% of the day. We, we don't have offices that we go to and we're gone for eight or 10 hours. So if we do need to check something, it's gonna take maybe 60 to 90 seconds and then we're good. And I'm gonna keep playing and drawing with you. But yes, that is something that, yeah, she, she calls me out on it all the time. And again, like my wife said, we're not perfect and we're not saying that we are. It's all about, it's just about moderation, yeah. balance, She's on the phone so much more than me, so I feel like I can talk about this. Right. He's, he's, you're good. Thanks, um, babe. For me personally, um, I, I, I've been able to get into a rhythm where, um, you know, in the morning, it's really about the kids and getting them ready and make breakfast and all that kind of stuff. And I know I can check my phone once they're at school. Um, and right now I'm shooting uh, my show, Alexa and KD, which is for Netflix. And so I have a place to go. So I'm in a car. Um, so I can't really check it there either. So, you know, um, but I do have downtime at work. Um, and then once the kids are back and off, you know, from school in the afternoon, it's all about them again. And then they go to bed. So it's like I can check it again and do what I need to do after they go to sleep. I, I think the whole point of the discussion that we started talking about is that those moments are so few and they go so fast that we don't want to miss it you right. know? and that was the conversation that had really started about that um that you know the you're... email's always going to be there it's going to be there in a couple hours and it'll be there you know tomorrow as well so right. <laughs>